Welcome back, everybody. Um, we're at the end of the castle dungeon part two. And we're about to go face Aghanim with the Master Sword. But first, a cutscene. That's Aghanim, for those that aren't aware. And he's t taken Zelda, and he goes out here. Now, for those that have played uh, Ocarina of Time, or any f boss with deadly tennis, this is one of the ones where you have to hit it with your sword. But like in Ocarina of Time, where you can use the jar, you can actually use the bug catching net. Because you can actually swing jars in this, you use the bug catching net to s catch stuff. That projectile, when you hit it, it just breaks like that. Oops. When he goes up to the top of the screen, like that, he uses lightning. Unless he faces you. If he's looking at you, then that means he's going to use one of the two projectiles. If he's at the top of the screen like this and facing you, projectile. Otherwise, it's lightning. And you're pretty much safe from lightning if you just stand next to him. Alright, I've beat him. But in one last act of redemption, I've been taken atop of the pyramid in the dark world. Uh. If this is scrolling for too fast to you, you're on YouTube. Pause it. I mean, it's not that hard. So now we're in the dark world. Yeah. Um, this wall right here, even though it's cracked, cannot be broken for quite a while. I forget about that room. I don't remember what it is. But I know on the right side, that one is um, the Four Swords Dungeon, which was unique to um, the Game Boy Advance port of this version. I'm not sure what's up with that room up there. Maybe it's an exit for the Four Sword Dungeon. Just a nice little thing to notice is that this left tree over here has a fairy in it if you ram it. Anyways, now that we're in the Dark World, we have a cast of new enemies. F that sign. So we're now instead of trying to gather those three pendants, we're trying to gather seven crystals, which are over there to the right above my equipment. And uh, the first dungeon, if you guys remember, was the Eastern Palace. Well, the first dungeon here is right next to where the Eastern Palace was. It's in the same exact spot. The area surrounding it's different. This is one of the few times in the game that money is actually necessary. While passing through this weird maze, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but in the like brush that you have to pass through, um, there are like this. You can see the passageways, kinda. There, the there's this weird marking. This is a dead end. Like I don't know if you guys can see it, but. There's spots, I guess, that are empty in the passageway that you can see. That's how you that helps you navigate it. The first time I played this game, I actually wasn't aware of that, so I just like blindly stumbled through this until I found my way out. And now there's something following me. This weird monkey, Kiki. Kiki likes money, so you have to actually pay this thing rupees to follow you around. <laughs> And every time, I forgot, every time you get hit, he goes away, and I have to go back and get him back and have to pay him again. Because those 10 rupees are really going to break my wallet. <clears throat> and then here, 100 rupees 
will get you into the dungeon. Thank you, Kiki. Level 1, Dark Palace. So this is the first Dark World dungeon. I think I've got about 5 minutes until the 10 minute mark. That's what I'm guessing. There's the key. I think I could have gotten the flippers by now, but I didn't, so I'm going to have to go back and do that after this dungeon. I forget what's over here. I don't think I actually need to go that way yet. <clears throat> So the light world dungeons, really simple. The dark world dungeons tend to get a bit more complex. So let's see, what's down here? Um, I think this takes you to a fairy room. Nope. I don't. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, that pla that box up there isn't Sahasrael this time. It's actually Zelda talking to you now. These things will um like at event like every now and then they'll get like an electric charge through them. If you hit them while they're doing that, you take damage. These enemies mimic the opposite of your motion when you go. Okay, the green ones mimic you. The red ones do the opposite. The green ones can just be beat to death with your sword. So can the red ones, I guess. If you face the red one, like, look at it. It shoots that. Typically how I get rid of the red ones is to, uh... Fire my bow, walk them into it. I don't know if that's mandatory. I'm not sure if you can still hit them with your sword. I forget. Oh yeah, that went a lot better than expected. And all for the map. There's cracks on these walls. There's a key. There's those weird diglet things. Here's the fairy room. The red jellyfish things, when you hit them with your sword, instead of just dying like the blue ones, they split into two little ones. Those cracks on the walls don't do anything. This crack in the floor, you can uh, blow it up with a bomb. I think it's just a bottomless pit, so all you'll do is take damage. Ah, oh, that's where this was. This statue is pushable, the other one is not. <clears throat> I think this is the compass. No, this is the big key. Do I already have the compass? <laughs> no, I don't. Alright, big key, get. Did I actually get that and not open the chest last time? Weird. I forgot what was in that chest already. I think it was a key, because I have a key now. Oh, I, I just remembered that now that I have the Master Sword, never mind. <laughs> um, maybe it's when you get the next sword, but one of the swords lets you break pots by hitting them with your sword. Instead of just uh, having to pick them up. 
This room can be kind of irritating because of all of these things. You can jump down these platforms. Nope, killed it. Alright, I think I'm at around the 10 minute mark, so I'm going to cut this off. Um, this episode, we fought Aghanim like a boss, went to the Dark World, and started on the first Dark World dungeon. Next time, we should be able to wrap up this dungeon and start probably on the way to the Flippers, I'm guessing. Alright, see you guys next time.